Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over how to do hippocampal subfield segmentation using FreeSurfer. And before I start, I just wanted to say that I've been trying to record this video and I keep on rambling, so I think it's possible that I'll cut the video into two videos, but I'll try my best to avoid that. I work in a neuroimaging lab and I'm really familiar with FreeSurfer, so I'm really interested in making like a series of videos. I actually only found out how to do hippocampal subfield segmentation and I've been working on it a lot and that's why I wanted to make a video on it. I'm obviously going to follow the official tutorials that are on the FreeSurfer website. However, I think sometimes like I still make mistakes when I'm trying the tutorials for the first time so I still think these video tutorials might be helpful for, I don't know, like the one or two people who are going to watch these videos. So anyway, that's my idea. I'm going to be following the written official tutorials but I'm going to give you like extra information as I go along. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is to check what version of FreeSurfer you're using. Using. When I first started, I found this page. I didn't know there was a second page. I assumed I had the latest version, which was wrong because, well, I did, but this is actually a developer's build. It's not the stable release, and that was my first mistake. I'm making the video in August 2016, and this version still has not been released as the stable release. Usually, they encourage you to download the stable release, which is version 5.3, as I'm making this video. I have no idea when they're going to release 6.0. It could be tomorrow tomorrow and this whole video could be out of date very quickly but I saw on the forums like months ago people were talking about 6.0 and it still hasn't been released yet so it might take a while. Now there's still a way to do hippocampal subfield segmentation using 5.3 and there's this page that I hadn't I didn't know existed but you can do it on either one. The tags are different so if you try to run the 6.0 tag using the 5.3 version you're going to get an error that's what was happening to me. If you're just starting to study and you haven't done any processing Take a look at the 6.0 website. I'll put the links to both below, but I'll put the link to this one. And you want to look over the differences between 5.3 and 6.0. So this image, I don't think it does justice to what the 5.3 output looks like. And I haven't actually tried the 6.0 version. This video is going to be on the 5.3 version, but that looks pretty nice. But I think the 5.3 version looks a little bit nicer than this. You'll see it at the end. And so some of the differences that I saw were that you need the 2012 runtime to run the FreeSurfer 6.0 version. You don't need that for the 5.3 version. Another nice thing about the 6.0 version besides the nicer image is that if you want to run it using supplemental images, so if you want to process it, well for either one you process it with an input of a T21 weighted image, but for the 6.0 version it says if you want to run it with additional scans to get better accuracy you can do that. So it says if you have a T2 you can run it with a T1 and a T2 as input and you can also even run it with an additional T1 that is like specifically getting the hippocampus and that can help you with your accuracy so that's actually a really nice feature that they put for 6.0 but in my lab we didn't even have T2 images for most scans anyway so I'm not going to do that and I'm going to just do the 5.3 version. I think if you've already done recon all on a lot of subjects you can still do the 5.3 version which is what I did and that was my case as well. Also I wanted to show and you'll see this probably later on my example on Freeview, but I wanted to show you what I'm talking about when it says hippocampal subfields. So it gives you volumes and it will also give you those images with the color overlays on top. And the volumes that it's talking about are mainly these. So this is, how do you pronounce it? Ammon's horn. In total, it will give you like six or seven segmentation volumes. And it also gives you the subiculum. It gives you the fimbria. It doesn't give you this. It will give you also the total hippocampal volume, which you can compare to your ASEG to stack table and it also gives you another structure that it's calling the presubiculum which I'm presuming is some part over here and it also gives you some fissure information and you'll see in the end what it gives you. I just wanted to show the image of that's basically what we're getting at. Okay so I'm going to do the 5.3 version so if you're wondering what version do I have if you have your bash profile set up to run FreeSurfer already like I do then you just go open a terminal and it will tell you up here that it's version 5.3. If you're using 5.3 and you want to follow along with this video you go to this web page and it tells you it's deprecated but whatever it still works. Okay so to get actually 
actually started doing the hippocampal subfield segmentation. The next question that you have to answer for your studies is, have I already done recon all, all, yes or no? Because there are two different codes. The code you want to use depends on what the status of your processing is. So for me, I've been going back to subjects that I already have subject folders for and have already gone through the recon all, all stream. If you don't and you're just starting fresh, you can go ahead and add the hippocampal subfields tag to images that you haven't processed at all. So you can do recon all, all like normal and then just add the hippocampal subfields tag. That processing will take as long as recon all, all does. So it'll take like a day for most computers. So for me, I've been using the second code that has the all removed and it just goes back to subjects that are already in the free surfer subjects folder and already have recon all, all process and it already has that MRI folder with all the appropriate files. All you have to do for this, it's telling you is say what the subject folder name is in your free surfer slash subjects folder and then add the tag hippocampal subfields. So in this tutorial video, I have actually everything processed already, but I'll just show you again. And I'm using my brain as an example. So if I go to free surfer subjects, I have my subject folder here and this is my data and I'm, I labeled it as a 3T 700 micron MB2 rage. So if you click your subjects folder and you see you have all the folders and files from recon all all then you're going to run this line of code so if I do that in my terminal it's just going to be recon all subjects and then put in the subject folder name so for me it's that then you just add the tag hippo subfields and hit enter and it will start running and that's going to take a while to process I was actually surprised how long it takes it depends on the specs of your computer but it's been taking about two and a half to three and a half hours on my laptop and also on my work computers but you can run a bunch of them at the same time okay so actually I have done that already so let me just stop that I don't really need it and once that is done it exits without errors when you go to your subjects folder you're going to have new files in your MRI folder so it produces these posterior files that were not there before and that's basically all it does so now that you have this additional data, you can do mainly two things with it. You can get the volume information, and there's a code for that, and you can also view it. Let me copy the code down here for visualizing the subregion. And all you have to do is change the name of your subjects folder, replace BERT with whatever the folder name is in your FreeSurfer subjects folder. So ignore this top part. I'm going to talk about that later. Let me just go in here and change the, oh, it has it already. Perfect. So you copy that and paste that again into a terminal to view the results. And this opens free view. Another thing that confused me when I was doing this tutorial was I did not know, and I don't think it even says this, online but the visualization takes a while to load so when I first tried running the code and I didn't see it pop up right away I was so confused I thought Freeview froze I did like a million things trying to get it to work but actually all you need to do is wait it takes about and again it depends on your computer it takes about like 15 to 25 minutes to actually appear and I'm talking about the like colored overlays of the hippocampal subfields so this takes a while to load I'm gonna pause the video and when it pops pops up again, I'll start recording again and move on. Okay, it finished and this is what you see when it pops up. Ignore the time if you're comparing from before and after. It actually finished really quickly and then I exited out of it on accident and then I had to open it again. But anyway, it finished definitely faster on my laptop than my work computer and also it was nice because it popped up when it was done, which it also doesn't do on my work computer. Anyway, this is what it looks like so you can look at it a couple of different ways and I usually just visualize it. Well, for now I've just been visualizing it it just to make sure as like a double check that it's going to be accurate the volume data so you just want to make sure and I, I mean I don't know these things exactly but does it look like it's in the right place yes more or less to me that looks right you can hover over this is saying down here and the it moves when I move the cursor but if you hover over that this is saying it's left CA4 and oh actually it hasn't I think if you wait a little bit longer the right one will pop up as well 
I guess I'll wait just to show you guys and I'll pause the video here as well. Actually, instead of waiting, let me go ahead and try to wrap up the video with the second part, which is the hippocampal volumes. So again, there's a couple different codes and there's basically two different ways to do the hippocampal volumes to get like the data. This first code, if you just run this, this is saying that all the subjects in your subjects folder on the freesurfer slash subjects folder have done the hippocampal subfields tag. So you have all the right files to get the hippocampal subfield information. Then you can run this code and it will automatically go through each subjects folder and get the volume information, which is like the, I think it's like eight or nine different fields of volume information. And so that's nice if you have a complete data set for all your folders. Now this stops running as soon as any subjects folder is missing the data. So if you have your subjects folder listed A through Z alphabetical and maybe someone named Kyle doesn't have it then it will stop at Kyle and it won't keep processing it doesn't skip folders that have missing files and keep going through all the subjects folder it'll just stop so just make sure if you're gonna run this which I would recommend it's like the fastest way to run all of them just make sure all your processing is done first otherwise it also gives you this code if you want to run subject by subject and actually let me just check one more time is this not done yet oh it is done okay Okay, so if you wait fully, then it will look like this. And I usually just check this to make sure that it looks vaguely right. And it looks good. I think it looks pretty good. And we'll see measuring the volumes if anything also looks weird. That's kind of a good way to double check. And I think that's fine. So I'll just exit out of that now and go back to this. So like I was saying, this code is for running each subject individually. This is actually what I've been doing more of. And well, my subjects folder, I don't think, I think I said this earlier. Earlier, but it's pretty much just has my one brain subject in it in the whole folder so really I could run either one so let me show you what I have been doing and also I wanted to provide like a little code alteration for this because a lot of what I do in my lab is move this volume information to Excel sheets and actually I don't know if 6.0 fixed this but the volume data the way it's presented is actually not very friendly to translate to Excel so let me show you in the MRI folder and I don't remember actually if I think this code and don't quote me on this because I don't remember exactly I think it leaves these text files in the subjects folder I think it leaves a right hippocampus text file and a left hippocampus text file it either does that or it prints it directly into the terminal and I can't remember because I changed the code and that's what I've been running either way it gives you the data like this so what I'm saying is that it's a little bit difficult to copy and paste each of these values into Excel as compared to a park stats to table or whatever the command is that will really easily translate to the Excel sheets but this one does not let me go ahead and run this and see what it does because I think this will just print it in the terminal too which is not great but for this code all you have to do is change the subject name so Bert is just like that sample subjects folder it has in free surfer and you just change that let me see what does this work? Yeah, so running this individual code just printed out in the terminal. So let me show you a code that I have that I will put a link to. I have it on my Google Drive, so I'll just make it public. So this combines this left hemisphere or whatever, what is this? This right hemisphere code and the left hemisphere code into one. And also what it does, it, it makes it a little bit more easier to copy and paste the volumes into an Excel sheet. So if you look at the code, let me elongate this. It's the same code that you're given. So the first two lines here were given from the free surfer command and then this line as well. This just does the right hippocampus and this one does the left. And then I just added one line of awk code to put it into a text file first. And then this says make the field separator the colons and then print out the first field, a tab for the field separator and then the second field. So I actually don't have Excel on this laptop, but I do on my work computer, and it, it's really easy. Let me just show you through Google Sheets. Actually, let me show you first how it leaves it in the subject folder. So you see, if you run this code and then just change the subject name, then when you go to your MRI 
folder in the subjects folder. It has the left hippocampus Excel sheet and the right hippocampus Excel sheet. Now, if you open this, it will look right on Excel. I, it doesn't paste right in Google Sheets. It shouldn't have these plus signs. It'll basically print like this. So if you can compare, let me pull this up. If you can compare this, which would be hard to copy and paste, this would show up just like this. Then what you do is just copy this. And then what I've been doing is I've been pasting it as rows. So I have an Excel sheet with the subject name, and then I have all of these written out as columns. And then what you just do is you do paste special and you do paste transpose. And then you can easily make data. So this would be my subject name. And then you have the data easily put into an Excel sheet. So it's showing up as plus signs here, but I swear the code works correctly for Excel sheet. If, you, if I actually had Excel open, it would be just the values without the plus signs. And so that code makes it a little bit easier because then probably want to use that data to process it and do statistical analysis. So I'm hoping that they fix that for the next stable version release, or they should have some kind of two table command for the hippocampal subfields, or maybe they do and I just don't know it, but this is the code that I've been running and I'll put it in a link below to it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the example of the volumes that you'll get. This is from my brain, so hopefully they're normal. I don't know what these values should be, but as you can see, it gives you the total hippocampal volume, hopefully that's okay. It gives you the right subiculum, presubiculum, hippocampal fissure, CA1, 2, I guess this is 2 and 3, and this is 4 and dentate gyrus and the fimbria. And it gives you left and right volumes. And yeah, that's it. That's the video. Hopefully I'll make more videos on Free Surfer. And actually, if you made it this far, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know that someone actually watched this video besides me because I think I might be the only one who's going to watch this video.